right? We see the expression, the sun was there from the beginning. First John tells us the sun was there from the very beginning, right? The sun always exists as God. The sun, by obedience to the expression of God, the Father was sent into the earth, right, to take on a earth suit. So then he became all God, his God uh, leanness or his God nature did not change. It did not, it wasn't shifted at any rate and level. At the same time, his humanity was not changed. It wasn't shifted at any rate and level. He was all man. This is why the Bible says stuff like he could be tempted at all places, but without sin. This idea that he came into the earth realm to be a collision of two worlds to give you an example that it could be done. Are you here today? That it could be done. That, that you could live for him, that you could be an ambassador of heaven and, and operate in this earth realm. And whatever he had access to as, a, as the son of God. And now we become adopted in uh, by the promise that God gives to Abraham. We become adopted in, the Bible says, and grafted in as sons of God. But as, as, as great, as amazing it is, as his blood and his resurrection made available, I have access. Everybody say, I have access. I really need you to think about that for a minute, though. Jesus did some wild stuff. Jesus experienced some pretty, pretty, pretty amazing things. Jesus has, uh, Christ, let's, let's, let's better say it that way, Christ um, ha- ha- has such an amazing power. And he says, you've got to understand that you have it too. You have it too. So let's go back to the scripture. He who believes in me, everybody say in me. Did I explain that well enough for you? Believes in me, the works that I do, he will also do. He will also do. So what I, what I do, whoever believes in me, they're going to be able to accomplish. But then he takes it to the next level. And he says, and greater works than these. What are these? These things that we've seen happen in the earth realm that he accomplished while he was on earth. Greater works than these Shall they do, uh, he will do, because I go to be with the Father. Please pay attention to that as well. You get to do this because I'm gone. You can only be in my name because I'm not here. In my name is in my stead. Are you getting this? In my name is in my stead. So because I ascend, you have the ability to now walk in me and be an extension of me. That's why you're called the body of Christ. The head is seated in heaven, but the body is active on earth. No one looks at the head of a thing and says it's different from its body. You don't look at my head and be like, I mean, what an amazing head. Right? You don't you don't name you don't you don't name my body different than from my head. All of it is Sherman. All of it is Christ. All of it is Christ. The head is Christ, the body is Christ. He who believes in me. Who believes in me? So when you grab a hold of that. That you're not as separated from God as the spirit of religion wants you to believe. And as your flesh wants you to believe, you step into a whole new world. You step into a place where you're not always reaching for God, reaching out for God. But then you move to a new place of reaching in for God. I promise you I'm not getting new age. Just stick with me. The Bible says stuff like this. It says... That the kingdom of God is within you. The Bible says the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead now lives. Wait, wait, wait. It is not the idea of this thing of I have to have a visitation or encounter with God. Can I change your mindset? Uh, don't look at the Old Testament and miss things. You'll look at the Old Testament 
And you'll begin to see Moses, who is after Adam, where sin has entered. And you'll see Moses, you'll see the children of Israel who are reaching for God, praying for God to come into a place. We need you. God is God. They're carrying God's presence around in a box. And if you start looking at the Old Testament model, there's much to learn there. If you, but if you're just looking at only that, you're going to miss out on the new covenant. After Christ died and was resurrected, we're, not, we're no longer reaching for something. We're no longer, I want to switch your language. We're no longer saying come. Because what's in me doesn't have to come. What's, what's in me doesn't have to come because it's in me. It changes your mindset. It changes your prayers now. Because we're moving now into another level of activation of what's already in me. What's already in me. He's locked stuff in you that you've been reaching for and therefore it's not been activated because you haven't realized it's already there. I'll give you more word. The Bible says this. The Bible says this. He says he's giving you everything. Everything. Holler back everything. everything. If you're online, I want you to type into the comments everything. And if you haven't shared this, what is wrong with you? Share. It is important that you do this everything. He gives you everything that pertains to life and godliness. If I say everything. everything. So I've already had it. I already have it. So he says, great works. So you do. Why? Because I go to be with the Father. In other words, because I go, you get to do, right? In my name is in my stead. So then this offers a different mentality. When people see us in the earth... They don't just see us, right? We become uh, written epistles, the scripture said, read of men. We become, we become Christ in the earth. I promise it's the Bible. We become Christ in the earth. You are the what? The body of Christ. We become Christ's representative in the earth, walking and going everywhere we go. So when I show up at Albertsons, I don't just show up as Sherman. I show up as a collision place of where Sherman and Christ collide. And so when people, when I'm interacting with people, I must not, it's important that I don't just live life from the perspective of Sherman and ignore Christ in me. Because while I'm at the grocery store, God will be speaking to me about how he wants to touch someone from within. From within, I'm hearing this voice say, pray for this person. But if I am only caught up with Sherman, Casey, then I'll end up never allowing Christ to flow out of me to impact the person that is in the grocery store. So I'll go there and I just want to get, I just want to get my, uh, I love them Keebler crackers. What them things, that's what they call the, uh, the, the blooded ones. Them things are anointed by God. If you buy those in my house, they go like this. I mean, my kids, I'd be like, they were my crackers. Why are you eating them like this, right? But I could be there getting the Keebler crackers. And if I'm just focused on Keebler and I'm not paying attention to Christ in me or the Godhead in me, Holy Spirit in me then I can end up missing on the opportunities where the kingdom wanted to manifest. The kingdom only gets expanded when ambassadors expanded. And if you don't take your position, this is doggone good teacher. If, 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 you, if you don't take your position, you're going to end up, hear this, hear this, somebody, I say it all the time, but grab it, somebody's life is going to miss out on something if you don't say yes. Yeah. 